Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to compile Vanilla 90 in Linux, basically in Ubuntu, using Intel compiler and Intel MKL, probably the most efficient way of doing it. So let's get started. First, download Vanilla 90 from the official website, and basically here. And then this will be downloaded to the download folder. Wait a second for the download to complete. Okay, now it's done. Basically, it is in the download folder. We copy it into the folder that we want to put it. So basically, copy download uh, one year ninety. Yeah, this is a compiled file to the current folder, and then we decompress the file using this line of code here: tar minus cs zxvf one year ninety. Okay, there will be a, a new folder called one year ninety three point one point zero in current folder, and we go into the folder, clear the screen, then we copy this file in the config folder to this folder and re rename it make dot ink. So you could use this line of code here, or you could go to the system file explorer here, and then go to the config folder. And basically here, there are many configuration files, and you can see the applicable system in the file name here. For example, if you use gfortran, which is the GNU compiler, you can use this configuration file. If you want to use Intel compiler, which is basically iFort for the Fortran compiler, then we need to use basically this configuration file here. Yeah? So we control C, copy, and then control V, paste. Now we have to rename the file name to be make.ink. Now we open the file and you see that basically everything is set except that we want to change the Intel MKL library to to your case. Yeah. So in our case, our Intel compiler is basically installed here and um, in the MKL folder mkl uh, lib intel 64 yeah so basically this line of code here yeah? okay so we copy and paste it here the other things we don't change and that's it we save the file now to compile the code if you haven't done it yet you should source this shell script here to set up the environmental variables for um, Intel compilers. So we are going to do it here. And then afterwards, for example, if you type in ifort, it will find the command. Yeah. Okay. Now the next step is to actually do the compilation and make all. So basically that will make not only the one year 90 program, but also the post processing program and all other uh, things that needs to be compiled. Um, this should usually be quite quick because One United is a small program. Yeah, so we just wait a little bit. Okay, so now the compilation is completed. There's no warning, no error, so everything is fine. And then the next step would be to do some uh, test. And um, with One United, there is a nice test suit that you can see here. So we go into the folder, test suit. And then to run the test, just use this command here, run tests. Yeah, okay. And then you see that it says Python, no such file or directory. This is because I use Ubuntu 20. And for Ubuntu 20, Python is replaced by Python 3. So there is no command named Python here. To link Python 3 to Python, we could use, um, let's clear the screen now. Let's use this line of code here. Now, if you type in Python, it will link you to Python 3. Yeah? And then we exit the console here. Now we could uh, run the tests. Yeah? It will ask you what test to run. For example, we go for default, just click enter. And now you see that it starts the tests 
and、um, everything should pass. Ah,、uh, okay. So I will not、uh, finish all of all of the test now, but、um, you could try to do that. And basically, it means that our、uh, compilation is successful. That one year ninety is working as expected. Yeah. Okay. So I just stopped the test now. So now I will show you how to use one year ninety by hand. So we let's say we go to the examples folder, examples sixteen, no QE, and、uh, we can list the files in the folder. And the important file is here. Silicon dot win. This is the input file for one year ninety. Yeah. So what we can do is that we specify the、uh, full path to one year ninety executable, basically here, and then silicon dot win. Yeah. And then this will start the calculation. And let's go to the folder here. Maybe it's more obvious. There's one new file called silicon dot w out, and this is the output file of one year ninety. I will not go into detail here, but you can see that this is the total execution time, which is one point five second. Yeah. If you want to use parallel computation, you can use MPI run minus NP plus the number of CPU cores that you want to use. For example, here I want to use six because I have six core CPU. And then we do the same calculation again, and、uh, go to an open output file. Scroll down to the bottom, find the total execution time that is only 0.391 second. Yeah, much faster than a single core one. Yeah, I have run several tests on this example from、uh, one core to、uh, 12 cores, and you see that <clears throat> when the number of cores increases. Uh, total execution time decreases, the efficiency increases, but if you go more than the number of cores, the execution time will increase. Yeah. Okay. So basically, in this video, I have shown you how to compile One Year Ninety in Linux using Intel compiler and Intel MKL. This is very simple, and、um, and we have achieved quite high efficiency with this compilation. We have also done automatic test. To make sure that the compilation works as expected, and I also briefly show you how to do calculations and、uh, and these benchmarks. So this is for Linux. If you are working on Windows,、um, it is actually、um, easier that you don't have to do the compilation yourself. You just go to my GitHub and download the pre-compiled version, and it will work on your system. I will cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.